Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm gonna do a complete walkthrough of Android Wear. Okay, it's very similar to Google Glass, which I have a walkthrough of by clicking the link below if you're interested, um, and very reminiscent of Google Now. So essentially, it's centered around the concept of this linear timeline. So you have your main home screen here um, with whatever is the latest notification right there at the bottom. If you swipe up, you then go to the next notification and the next one and so on and so forth, all the way down this kind of timeline list. Um, and essentially it's just reverse chronological order for all of your notifications. Now, also on any of these notifications, for example, let's say we're looking at this one, if you swipe to the left, you dismiss it. If you swipe to the right, you actually get to see more information about it. So in this case, it's a text message, so we have all of the history. Then we also can reply by tapping that, which will then open a voice uh, prompt that'll let you talk your text message back. Uh, and then the open on phone, which is kind of a, uh, available basically with every notification. It just automatically opens that app on your phone in case you wanted to use your phone instead of the watch. And of course, going back. So if you think about it, it's kind of cards that are stacked in this way, and then cards that are stacked to the right, and then swiping this way removes the card from the timeline. And that's pretty much the entire UI. It's very simple, um, just like Google Glass. So you can also, though, perform actions, of course. So whenever you're on the top homepage, so you'll see it's not this one, it's not this one. At the very top, you'll also see sometimes it shows OK Google up there. Um, if you say those words, it will automatically open the voice prompt. You can also tap, and then you have your voice prompt here, and anything that you say, it's listening. Um, you can also, if you swipe up, get to, uh, well, first off, see different examples of what you can say, but also you can tap these instead of actually saying them. Once you do, though, you're going to have to say something. For example, send a text. I now have to say to, its, who, to uh, whom I'm sending it to, etc. And as with dismissing, swiping to the right gets rid of it. And then you have a bunch of different options in here that are pretty self-explanatory that you can go through all of those. You also have um, your settings in here. Tapping on that or saying the word settings will bring you into your devices on device settings, um, which include things like resetting the device, changing the watch face, which you can tap on that. I'll show you what that looks like. And they do have quite a bit. And I would assume at some point they might open this up and other developers can create their own. Also in settings, you can adjust the brightness, have the screen always on or not, airplane mode, turn it off, uh, uh, go into the about to see what's on, and then obviously developer options if you enable that. And again, swiping to the right dismisses whatever it is you're in. Okay, so let's go through kind of a real world case. So you get a text message, it says, what up fool? The, the watch will actually vibrate to let you know. You'll look at it. If you tap on it so that you get it, if you swipe to the right, again, you can see your history, swipe again, we'll tap this to reply. Nothing, fool. And if you wait long enough, it'll send it. You can also tap the cancel, and then hitting OK actually sends it. It doesn't OK the cancel, if that makes sense. And hitting cancel again actually does cancel sending it. So I'm gonna hit OK and let it just send. And then you get a little check to let you know. And it doesn't dismiss the notification, but you can just swipe to the right, and now it's gone and just brings you to the next one. And that's essentially how it goes for all of the notifications, whether it's you know a text message or say an email which you can actually tap on to read basically the entire thing. Archive it, tap reply, it will ask you to speak, and of course, swiping away. Then with the weather or certain other things, swiping will just give you more information. Swiping again, that all popular open on phone. Okay, in addition to interacting with your notifications, the other thing you can do is open apps that are Android Wear compatible. So you can either say it, or if you scroll through here, you'll see start. And then you'll have a list of apps. So let's do compass. It's gonna make me wanna do that, but you get the idea. Swiping away then dismisses the app. You can also use your voice. Okay, Google, start world clock.
and it opens up the app that way. Okay, and finally, um, the other feature that you can do here is when you put your hand entirely over the device, it puts it into the sleep mode or that dimmed screen. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the watch itself. Um, and then this brings us to the Android Wear companion app, um, which runs on your device. So basically when you first start up the watch, it's gonna ask you to download this to your Android device. When you do, it'll go through a normal kind of Bluetooth pairing process automatically that you just say yes and yes on both, and then you're basically good to go. Then you can open this Android Wear app on the phone to change certain things. So you can go into settings up here at the top and you have various you know, basic setting things. Do you want the screen always on or not? Which turns off the screen. Silence the connected phone. So in other words, do you want it to alert on the watch and the phone at the same time or just the watch, for example, and a bunch of other things. So then you also have this, which I thought was pretty interesting. You can choose what services you wanna use for those specific uh, voice actions. So like the set a timer voice action, the set an alarm. You can actually tap these and choose different apps. Um, so right now it's all set to the clock for that. Same here. Uh, but as more app developers create apps that are Android Wear compatible and they put in the proper code to make this work, you'll be able to basically set any of these things from the steps to the stopwatch the timer, the agenda, to their app instead of the one that it automatically uh, is associated with. And then that kind of opens a whole world of possibilities, um, which is kind of cool. So that's kind of cool. And I'm sure more of these will be added, uh, more commands and all that kind of stuff. And you can also tap here to browse the compatible apps. And you can see that there's a decent amount. Um, and as you install these, you'll also get new actions depending on what it is uh, that the developer has put in here as well. So these will be new things that you can say to the watch to then enable new things that those apps can do.